Hey guys, my life is Beth here. Today, um, I've got a video for you. I didn't plan this video, but um, it's been like seven or nine days before I've uploaded, so I thought I'd just make a video. And this video is about what it's like to go on a school trip in high school, because I went on a school trip today. And basically what we were doing is we are doing something called shared education where we mix with another school and um we were um there's three form classes in in our year and um the first form class the top form class i believe went all of them went last monday and half of my form class which is the middle class went and then this week the other half of my form class including me and uh, the other class all went and it was great fun we were doing outdoor pursuits if you know what that is like examples of what we were doing we got on a speedboat and went speeding across the water all the way over to Strangford. it was so much fun and we went on a climbing wall and i literally climbed so high i nearly banged my head off the ceiling <laughs> and we also did mountain biking and um what else no, not mountain biking, actually, just biking, because we were trying to see how many laps we could do in a group of five. Our group did 96 laps in 25 minutes. That's how long we had. And then um, we just kind of played teamwork games for the rest of the day. We were away from, um, what was it? We left at about half nine, and we came back at three o'clock. And we were mixing with another school. Only my school's an all-girls school, and this was a mixed school for boys and girls, so we were mixing with mix. We were, I don't know, I was trying to make a saying out of that, like a simile, but couldn't do it. Um, oh, and sorry about this, this isn't relevant to the, this, but just saying couldn't do reminded me that I got a request a while ago. I was going to say this first, but I forgot. I got a request a while ago to write a story on a family reunion. I'm sorry, but I cannot do it. I just cannot make it perfect, no matter how hard I try. And so many other story story plots, like ideas for stories and their plots, have built up in my head since I was requested. I just sit here trying to get it perfect, and it never came perfect. I didn't get past page six. And while all these other story ideas were just in my head, um, yeah, and then kind of just wasn't making sense. So I'm going to have to move on from that for the time being and get other stories out of my head first and then I can do that. But anyway, that was only for the person who requested it. And if that didn't happen, I'll just get back to the best and the worst part of today. The best part was the climbing wall and the games at the end. But biking was good too. I enjoyed the boating mostly something happened and i'm gonna let you guess i'll give you a clue it's something half identical to what happened in that video i made called a thursday in the life of the high schooler think of what i said something nearly identical that happened to that bus happened to this boat we were on everyone was scared to get on in case they fell off i didn't give a damn about falling off to be honest. Um, my fear was not falling off like I said. The fear I had of getting on a boat was breaking down in the middle of the water. And that didn't happen. But while we were, we took a tour to Strangford Lock, like I think I said earlier. And um, um, basically, we're sitting enjoying ourselves, holding on tight. I was sitting beside Amber and um, she says, it smells like smoke. Then the engine goes, beep. It didn't stop, it just beeped. And then the driver turned it off for a minute or so. And then we started going again, no problem. But then it smelled like smoke. So I turned around, the engine had overheated and it was smoking. We did have a spare oar, but we were just so close to the harbour that we eventually just turned it off and with a bit of luck we floated over to right where we needed to be. When I got off, 
I warned all the other girls who were about to get on. Warning, that could overheat. If you don't want to do it, don't. <laughs> I didn't I didn't say, if you don't want to do it, don't. I just said that that one overheated and to, they didn't want to get on it. That was fine. But, um, yeah. Um, what else happened? I spent most of the day with Amber and my cousin Katie, or my third cousin Katie, and because we were in the same group, they get like group A, group B, and group C, and I was in, I was supposed to be in group C, but I swapped for group A because obviously my friends were all there, and yeah, that's about it. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'll probably stop pretty soon. I'll pause it and see if I can think of anything else that happened today. We were getting minivans and, or not minivans, what are they called? Minibuses? No, that doesn't sound right. Ah, whatever it is. It's those yellow and white ones for schools. Um, I'd gotten on and I wanted to sit opposite, op opposite my friends, Sarah and Aoife, because they were sitting beside each other and I sat across from them and then the girl behind me saying, oh, get up, get up. I want to sit there. Let's swap. I want to sit across from them. Just, and they're trying to make me get up and I'm just saying, no, I got here first, I got here first, I want to sit across from them, they're saying, so do I. <sighs> I hate to say it, but there might have been a slight argument, um, but then this, I don't know what you turn in, but the teacher uh, came over and says, okay, look, there's not enough space, because the girl behind me actually didn't have a seat and that was probably why she was trying to make me move, and, um, she just said, there's not enough room, does one of you two want to go over to the other bus? And the girl behind me insisted that I got off and she sat there. So I did went on to the other bus. It was small, but like, it was really small, but it was nice enough. And the bus driver was like talking to us, which is nice. They don't normally do that. She talked to us so that we could listen to music. She didn't mind stuff. And I was sitting beside my cousin Katie. Because I, if I'd known she was on the other bus, I wouldn't have even bothered debating with this person. But <sighs> life. <laughs> okay, well this video isn't too long, but I think I'll end it here. So if that answers your question as to whether you go on school trips in high school, yes, you go on about two a year or three a year, once or twice to your pan to pantomimes or plays, or whatever you want to call them, you go to one or two of them, and then you go on a big trip. Last year we went on a trip with the history department, and this year was just for shared education, so far, because we might get another one later. Yes! So, see you guys in the next video. Bye!